Hi, Chuck Brown, broadcasting live on the Horn Hunters app. And today we're talking about Fright Kingdom in Nashua, New Hampshire. Today we're presented by Dead Dave Designs out of Texas. It's been a proud sponsor all season for the Haunt Lounge. And Dead Dave Designs knives, coasters, and cutting boards. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. Does a fantastic job and we're thankful to have them as a sponsor for the Haunt Lounge. Hey, getting back, Fright Kingdom in New, Han New Hampshire. Every week we review a different haunt. We're having a little connectivity issues today in New Jersey. A lot of Wi-Fi is out, so we got to go with Plan B, so which we're going to post the Haunt Lounge directly to the Haunt Hunters app channel. So check it out. So we're going to talk to Tim Dunn. 16 years, he's in the demolition business, and he was inspired when he was younger at Disney. In the early 80s and he's known for knocking things down but he's built this kingdom fright kingdom that is and let's talk to tim a little bit more about his passion of haunted houses live on the Horn Hunters app and we're in Nashua, New Hampshire. Say that real fast three times and it'll bring you right here to this amazing place, Frank Kingdom. And we're here with the master. We can call you the master 16 years. 16 years. It's unbelievable. Tim Dunn what brings us to life. Tell me about it. How did it all start? My daytime job is I'm a demolition contractor, but it all started back in the early 80s at Disney World, going to Disney's Haunted Mansion. Now the Haunted Mansion, now, you, now you're in uh, movies now? It's going to be Halloween? Actually, we took our entire show apart and brought it to the North Shore around Salem, Massachusetts and moved it all around for them and they rented over 100 animatronics from us and hired us to be a Halloween consultant for the film. And you were just showing me different scenes that you guys were in. Yeah, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, you were in one of those classic maps, I think. That's right, Tour Johnson. Tour Johnson, 19 what? 1977. That's, it's amazing, some of the, the, the horror memorabilia that you have. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I got a large collection of Halloween masks that I've been collecting for the better part of 30 years. And, uh, you know, we have animatronics and old set pieces from, you know, the early 70s from haunted houses all across the country. In 2020, you're open. What are some of the things you've done, obviously, to... Uh, adapt to the COVID, what's going on? So lots of changes to do with COVID. We, uh, we've made social distancing marks on all the floors throughout the attractions. Uh, we are taking temperatures for the customers and the staff as they come in. Um, you know, many of our scares are behind barriers. Kingdom, so what should we expect going through Fright Kingdom? Well, I think you're going to experience all four of our haunted attractions. We have a world-class cast here. I think you're going to enjoy the staff that we have, and you know, you're going to see animatronics you've probably never seen before. Most of our sets, prop pieces, everything is custom. Even our we costumes. cannot wait to experience Fright Kingdom, my man. Sizzle on the cameras, get ready. We can't wait. Fright Kingdom. New Hampshire, make sure you get here, and we'll talk post haunt after Bright Kingdom. Fun Hunters, out. Yeah. And what about you? What scare you? Yeah, so if you check out the mask, he said he has many different masks, and this mask goes way back. It was funny, I was watching Hubie Halloween, and I caught this mask. You see, it goes back to when I was a kid. Wearing the mask, my brother Bob got the mask, 1976, and it's still being passed down. I'm passing it down to my son Justin, and I'm watching Hubie Halloween, and I just caught a glimpse of somebody online getting ready to go in the haunted attraction in the movie, and it happened to be Tim. Tim was wearing the mask. It was fantastic. Uh, great job. So let's just start out with their midway. So a lot when you go to a haunted attraction... You want to know how long you've been entertained. When you hit the parking lot, you're being entertained. There's zombies popping out while you walk through the lot. And one zombie got me, actually. It was pretty good because um, I wasn't expecting it. And walking into Fright Kingdom outside, it's in a warehouse, but you would not know it. He transforms that whole back area with massive queue, with the queue lines, with massive props that are set up all throughout, fog. Line entertain, entertainment is fantastic. And then you go inside. Now you're met with like tarantulas. Live tarantulas. You have horror icons from Freddy Krueger to Mike, Michael Myers to Jason Voorhees. All life-size props. Then you go to Hubie Halloween. 
every prop that you can imagine from the movie is there. It's it's great. It's all brought to life. So many different things. Hard that I believe in even the uh, the dress from the ring. He has that. I mean, everywhere you look, you're being entertained from start to finish. So his grade in in the um, midway was an A. I mean, it was fantastic. 98, 99. I mean, it it was great. Well done, Tim. Uh, as well as your wife. You know, we went in there. She's in the ticket booth and all of a sudden we see her. She's in makeup and she's in line entertainment doing it. So there's no question how much passion you and your staff have for Halloween and delivering a great product to everybody there in New Hampshire. Uh, it was packed. I mean, people were coming in in their time ticketed times and you guys moving along going with all the COVID guidelines. You were on top of it from start to finish. Um, highly organized. The instructions were fantastic as far as what you expect. And overall, as a group from all the different states that we traveled this year, I have to say New Hampshire is probably one of the top ones that were following the guidelines of staying within your group of six feet. A lot of different haunts have been struggling with that this year where groups would kind of go on top of one another. Not here at Fright Kingdom. They, uh, the people in line did a great job of kind of policing themselves between the different groups and when I tell you the guidelines are very strict there in that area of the country, um, they're under uh, under the the radar there, but they're they're doing a great job with it. So let's move along to some of the haunt highlights. So again, that's 100% as far as the COVID CDC. Great job. We're going to go to some of the haunt highlights in the video. My man Sizzle putting the mix together. Or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Go every year. 
Are you guys had a good time? Yeah. Oh, good you. Oh, the clowns. Back to you. Hi, guys. They're like the weird people that crawl on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> um, probably the banging and the crawling. The banging and the crawling. Uh, There's a clown behind you. Oh, shut up. The clown? Oh, oh, oh. She's oh, running. Oh. She's on the run. What, the clown? You don't like clowns? Oh, yes, you will. All right. What scares you? What scares me? Everything that pops up is Hey, you see, everybody was laughing, smiling, having a great time. And as you go through, once again, you start as kind of like we did. We started with the Apocalypse Z. And things started to warm up as you got going. Each haunt getting a little bit more intense as you progressed through Fright Kingdom. So Apocalypse Z, uh, again, it was a good warm up. That actor that crawled through that was fantastic. And with that noise, that was an excellent technique as far as that's concerned. So he kind of set the tone going through Apocalypse Z. Hey, I've never seen anyone crawl that fast. That, he that flew. Was, Definitely the fastest, fastest crawl. Then you make your way down to Blood Mare Manor. Um, great. Sets the tone with the hearse in there. They welcome you into the manor. Great job. So, again, one of the tough things um, with a haunt if, when you're in the warehouse is to bring you to a new world. And it's very difficult to do because you're under so many different fire regulations. But Tim did a great job. He transformed that. And you don't even feel that, that you're in a warehouse. It's It's great. So that, as far as that is Fright Kingdom. But as far as what we were concerned, and, and everybody there, Psycho Circus knocked it out of the box. I mean, they graded out as a 98, which was an A grade as far as that attraction. One of the big things that we saw there, uh, one is the welcoming with the clown tickets. That was fantastic. You know, can we get your ticket? And they were handing out in that ticket booth, handing your 3D glasses as you went through. And one of the things we haven't seen before was actually they utilized the Vortex going through um but doing it in 3d which added a whole new level to that the clowns in there were very energetic and the sizzle scare of the year goes to the clown there that got him if you noticed in the highlights he got sizzle really good so there's he so did. many actors that are on looking out for sizzle wait till you see the blood manor one what they're going to do to sizzle so everybody has it out for sizzle he's a pretty easy scare he's getting a little bit better but well done to the clown there you're the worst. I know I'm the worst. <laughs> but that was the But their time the every end. single one of them had really good timing. Let me get let me get in, get deep enough before I mo turned and as soon as I was looking the other way, they popped out. And then you end with uh the abandon, which was fantastic and the whole depth perception there again, the big sets that were built by Tim and his staff were fantastic. And then just the final, the finale there, the final scare was fan. That was great as well. Many different haunts utilized the chainsaw. It's not the case here. It was totally different. I don't want to give away any scares or any teasers, but really, really well done to that miner. Um, so again, the depth of the rooms. And I loved a certain aspect there. He had a ladder that was going in. So uh, it, it, it was fantastic really really well, well done on that set so you finish with the abandoned so again after going through all the different grades they graded out as a 90.8 so we're gonna round that off to a 91 and this skull says a 91 is an a graded haunt nice. which is fantastic well done that's we call that our masterpiece you get into the masterpiece level as far as the haunt so that's an a graded haunt you're in the A level there, so well done to Fright Kingdom, Nashua, New Hampshire. Make sure you get out there. Haunt Hunters out.